285 pounds. John, is it as sweet as you thought it would be? As sweet as I thought it would be and more. Take us through the, your whole tournament. Started off with the South Tamar County kid. I didn't get a wrestle like usual. He bumped down to 220. Didn't get the chance to wrestle. Went out, got a couple takedowns. And ended up with the fall. Big match in the quarterfinals, Cooper Lawson. I wrestled the predicament. Both had him rated number one, me number two. You know, I don't look at, I don't put much stock in rankings. Went out there and wrestled my match. Got the takedown with about 20 seconds left. Wish I could have opened it up a bit more and won by a bit more, but it is what it is. A win's a win. Moving on to the semifinals, I knew I was the better wrestler. Went out, got a major decision. Some back points, a couple takedowns. Came out here. Don't know where the ref learned how to call stall. Uh, got a couple takedowns. Finished off the match 7-6, to six, a bit closer than I'd like, but I want it. Take us through those final seconds of that match. What's going through your mind? Uh, got to hang on, stay strong, and win this thing. You know, last year coming up short, I know you told me a, a couple weeks ago the past is in the past and you just tried not to think about it, but does it kind of maybe right that wrong a little bit? I guess a little bit. I knew I couldn't go out two times, state finals lose here, would haunt me for the rest of my life. So I just knew I needed to go out and win this thing. Now I got to ask about that celebration with Coach Duff. Was that something that was rehearsed or was it just kind of on the fly? He told me a couple weeks ago it was his idea, not mine. That was all him. It was all him. I gave him all the credit for that awesome celebration. I think he took a little bit of uh, motivation from Brands and Clark last year. Talk about wrestling for Coach Duff. You know, your career at Atlantic comes to a close. We'll go to you and I next year. Just talk about your career with Coach Duff. Uh, you know, some days I wasn't his biggest fan making us get up. I had to get up at 5.30 almost nearly every morning, run mile, the long hauls after, lift. That's just lift, jump rope, and that's just the morning, and we go and pound away in the afternoon. But it's all been worth it. I, this is much credit to him as it is to me. He made me into the man, not only the wrestler I am today, but the man I am today. I'm so glad he was my coach. Congratulations, buddy. It's been fun covering your best you. of luck. All right, John, let's try this one more time. <laughs> uh, you, uh, what is it that you mentioned? You had a bunch of thank yous. What does it take to get to this point? Uh, the people, the support staff. Your coaches, your family, your family being there for you, your coaches helping you, your teammates being there for you and helping you train every day. Uh, just, I know I'm probably missing so many people. I mean, it's thankless, but a lot goes out. It's not just me. It's a whole. So now, now that it's over, be honest with me for once about how often you thought about, I mean, I know that you don't, you didn't probably hang up a picture of last year or anything like that, but how much did it uh, motivate you, or was it? Was, or do you think the key to getting here was was honestly just leaving it in the past? Uh, the key was leaving it in the past. I know you're probably sick of hearing that, but you know I didn't try to let it. I can't talk about what the past is. I put my pedal to the metal over the summer, and you know I wrestled with Swift. I wrestled with Coach Smith over the summer. Wrestled with all those guys. Uh, just amazing can support you, system. Can you comprehend the fact that you're one of only seven guys for Atlanta Cam that's ever done this? You're the only guy who's ever been to a state title match twice. You're going to have a banner of yourself hanging in that room forever. Hopefully the picture that I took. <laughs> just I, when you add all that up, Hawkeye 10 championships, a bunch of tournament championships, a couple seasons with 50 plus wins, I mean, if you stack up the resumes, you're probably the greatest Trojan of all time right now. I mean, no one's been to a state title match twice. Uh, that, that alone doesn't. Can you comprehend just what you've achieved for a guy who didn't start wrestling until eighth grade? Does it make sense how you got to this point? It's all, like I said, credit to all my, all of my support system. Uh, I know maybe some of the boys aren't going to like my mug staring down at them for the, <laughs> for the rest of eternity up there. But... It's, it's just great because no one can take this away from me. I'm an Iowa high school state champ, the best wrestling state in the, in the country. Congratulations, John. Thank you, Nate.